Hi, I'm Michael Brennan, and I'm here with Daryl Hicks and Michael Diamond, and we're here to talk about infection control. Thanks for coming in today, gentlemen. Good to be here. Now I'm going to get started. Uh, Michael, can you tell us a little bit about infection control dot tips? Who are you, who are you, and what do you do? Right. Uh, well, we're a global scientific collective that spans 30 countries. We have uh, over 200,000 uh, individuals involved, and. We, we basically, we're, we're, we're an evidence-based pan-access um, forum where we, we do evaluation, sterility, studies, uh, pilots, and a whole bunch of uh, efficacy and, and um, studies. And right now we're doing them in the United States, Canada, uh, soon uh, Africa. We do them in, uh, in England also. One of the things, and I'll just add to what Michael said, but it's kind of like the Wild West out there. These different companies and organizations are making claims about disinfectants, about products, and so someone needs to, uh, for the end user, the person buying this, uh, they need some, uh, some evidence base brought into it and from a neutral party. Now, Daryl, what kind of real world problem, it sounds like you just brought some up, might benefit from the vetting process well, I spent 34 years as an environmental services director in a 500-bed hospital, so I, I know something about what the real-world problems are, and a lot of these things, like Michael said, are developed in a lab somewhere, and so then when you get to the real world, the real-world conditions aren't what they are in the lab. So we, uh, one of the, the problems that we have is that the mattress that goes on the patient's bed or on the stretcher or, or on the OR table, that there are no disinfectants with a soft surface claim. The best they can do is to be a sanitizer, which a sanitizer, if you, know, if you understand the difference between sanitizers and disinfectants, if I start off with a million bacteria on something and I reduce it to a sanitizing level, there's still 10,000 left on, on that surface. If I disinfect it, there's only 10. So there's a huge difference between disinfecting and sanitizing. And what we know is that uh, one bacteria can replicate itself so that one bacteria within three hours becomes a million. Hmm. So if you don't get the, the mattress disinfected, then it quickly repopulates on that mattress and then the next patient coming in. Some of these organisms can live up to 56 days uh, without, being, uh, without being cleaned and removed. Now Michael, walk us through if you would, how would IC.tips validate that the product actually solves the real world problem it's supposed to address? And we have a whole program that we just kicked off, it's called Sudden Science. And the Sudden Science program is really designed to speed up the process of uh, getting things vetted and information out there. Well, our Sudden Science program is talking about doing peer review and publications within f four to six weeks. It's talking about doing evaluations and studies within, within a month to six months to a year, depending on how complicated wow. it is. I mean, we speed up the process and we do it for free. That's great. Real-time, yes. applicable changes that can be made. That's right. Absolutely. And ISSA is excited yes. to be a part of that and see all that you do. Uh, Michael, Daryl, thank you for your time today. And thank you for everyone watching. I'm Michael Brennan from ISSA. Have a great day. To view more quick clips, visit ISSA.com.